The heart is an important organ in our bodies. It pumps all of the blood to all of your extremities, and that's where the oxygen needed to make energy comes from. The way the heart is built is it has four chambers, and they're set up with two on top and two on the bottom. So, in a way, it's a lot like a square. Here's the two chambers on the top, and here's the two chambers on the bottom. The chambers on the top are the atria, each is an atrium. On the bottom are the ventricles, each is a ventricle. Now, when we look at images of the heart, we always think of them as if they are in a person. So that means that they are the reversed sides from what you would expect. So, this is the right side of the heart, and this is the left side of the heart. So, for instance, we have the right atrium. Below that, we have the right ventricle. On the other side, we would then have the left atrium and the left ventricle. Next, we're going to need some arteries and veins. Arteries always go away from the heart, and veins always come into the heart, because vein has in at the end, and artery starts with an A for away. That's how you remember. The largest vein comes into the right atrium. I'm going to draw it right here, and it is an extremely large vein, so large that it's cavernous, so we call it the vena cava. Now there's vena cava that comes in from the top and a vena cava that comes in from the bottom and they both dump into the right atrium so I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. So the blood follows along like this. Now even though we know the blood is not actually blue when it does not have oxygen, it's easier to follow this way so that's what I'm going to do to draw it so it comes into the right atrium. Next, what it's going to do is it's going to go from the right atrium down into the right ventricle. Now, to get there, we have to go between the two, and in between the atrium and the ventricle is a valve. This valve has three flaps, and it is called the tricuspid valve. Since it goes between the atrium and the ventricle, sometimes it's also called the right, because it's on the right side, AV for atrioventricular valve. So it's got two names. The valve keeps the blood from backflowing. So it's able to go down through the valve and not bump back up again when the heart pumps. It'll go to where it's supposed to go instead. So where is it supposed to go? Well, right now our blood doesn't have any oxygen, so it's going to need some oxygen. Therefore, we're going to need to weigh out. The way out is going to be right straight up here. And it's going to be through, since it's going away from the heart, an artery. Although it still doesn't have any oxygen, so that's important. And it's going to leave through here and head in two different directions because it's going to go to the lungs. Since it is an artery going to the lungs, we call it the pulmonary, for the lungs, artery. So the pulmonary artery is the weird artery where the blood is still deoxygenated because it's going to the lungs. Now to get there, it does have one more thing it needs to do because it needs to go through whoop, another little valve. Because once the blood comes up through there, we don't want it to fall back down. We want it to go all the way to the lungs. So that valve keeps it from falling back down. This valve, because it is going through the pulmonary artery, is called the pulmonary semilunar valve. So you understand pulmonary, but what's semilunar? Well, if we look at the word, we have semi for half, lunar for moon, half moon valve. When you look down on this valve, 
it looks a little bit like a half moon, even though it actually has three flaps. So now the blood is going to go through the pulmonary artery and to the lungs, which means it's going to get oxygen, which is super important. Then the oxygenated blood is going to return to the heart. Okay, so where's it going to do that? Well, it's got to come back in. Since it's coming to the heart, it's going to come in through a vein, although this time it has oxygen, so this is going to be a little bit different. It's coming from the lungs, so we call it the pulmonary vein, and it's the only vein that has oxygenated blood in it. All right, so the oxygenated blood is going to go ahead and come on in. This time it's on the left side into the left atrium. And just like before, it's going to drop down in the middle. So I'll put a little space in the middle here and add another valve. So here's another valve. Now this valve is pretty similar to the one across from it, which is the tricuspid valve or the right AV valve, except that it actually only has two flaps. It's the one valve with two flaps. So we call it the bicuspid valve. We also might call it the left AV valve. And it actually has a third name, making it even more interesting because it is often called the mitral valve. So those are all the names for the valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle. All right, so the blood is still going down into the valve and into the left atrium. And now it needs to go all the way out to the the whole body. So it's going to need to leave the heart, which means it's going to go through an artery. The left side, by the way, is also the biggest, thickest part because since it's got to pump blood all the way to the body, it has to have the most muscle for doing so. All right. So to leave, we now have to create a space to go out and we're going to use an artery, and this one is a very large, very big artery. So we give it a special name, and that special name is aorta. So the blood is going to come out through the aorta. But before it does, just like before, it needs to go through another valve to make sure it doesn't fall back into the ventricle and it goes where it's supposed to go. So the blood itself is going to come up. It's going to go through this valve and go out the aorta to the body. And that valve, because it goes through the aorta, is called the aortic semilunar, because again, if you look down on it, it looks like a half moon valve. And so the blood is able to travel out to the aorta through the body. Let's go through that process just one more time to make sure we get it. The blood comes in through the vena cava with no oxygen and it drops into the right atrium comes down through the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle, which is able to push it through the pulmonary semilunar valve and out the pulmonary artery to go to the lungs. Now that it has oxygen, it comes back in through the pulmonary vein, back in to the left atrium. It goes down through the bicuspid or mitral valve into the left ventricle, comes out through the aortic semilunar valve, through the aorta, and to the body. And that is how you get blood to go where it's supposed to go with the right amounts of oxygen.